Welcome to I Love Stocks, passionate about trading and your financial success. First, I want to get into the uh, YouTube page here. Please subscribe, ring that bell, and hit that like button. And we really do appreciate that. That way you can get our future updates if you went ahead and ring that bell right over there. I did a little uh, goody on apron. We had that pull back to where I was talking about for support. That was pretty good. Then we had some that broke out on Sunday's report with Vegas and Jim. So let's get right into Zoom. Zoom is going to be, I think Corona is going to change our world. We're, you know, we're going to adapt to this, and, and America is going to be strong as ever. That's what we do, you know. We fight difficulties. When they get in our way, we kind of move around them, and we change. And I believe that this coronavirus is going to change a lot of way business is done. You're going to see a lot more people working from home. You're going to be seeing more conferences from the main office or from people's house. You know, like, and they're going to have video webinars. You could have meetings on Zoom. So, so I think this is the ideal cooning stock right now. And to me, it's been one of the strongest ones, actually. And it held up pretty good for about four or five days. So we're going to look at the news. Today's news. And it's going to be, I'm going to throw in a couple of tickers in here that will go along with the cocooning lifestyle. And what I mean by cocooning, working from home, staying at home. And Zoom hits record highs as social distancing boosts the stay-at-home stocks. And Zoom was right on top of the list. And I called this out on Sunday's report. I really liked it. I said we were going to have a target. To we, I think we had hit 135 or something like that on Friday. And, and I said 150 is next, and that's what we got. So here's a few that you might want to write down on your, on your log list or on your watch list. And it's going to be Zoom, Apple, LOGM, which I'm going to check out here shortly, uh, Domino's Pizza, Papa John's, Netflix, and Apron. We also talked about Apron. I did a video on it last week. And it pulled right back to my support levels for a nice little breakout today. So let's go ahead and that we got that out of the way. We know that Zoom's going to be a good stay-at-home stock, good for cocooning. And we're going to go right into the chart. And I've erased all my trend lines, so we're going to try to draw these up. We're going to look for the it's a yearly high. I, what I have here is a TTM trend chart with my three moving averages. That's going to be the 200-day the 34 and the 9 EMA and I like to play that that 9 as respect of the run if it disrespects the run it could pull back to like the 34 as it did here on the yearly chart and bounce right off of it and then you had your big breakout and this is one that I called out last week and man what a great run I called it from around 108 and we ran all the way up to 164.94 in a matter of five days so let me go ahead and put this price talk target on here and we'll start doing some trend lines. We'll put one right here. Let's go ahead and magnify this up. We're going to put one right there for accuracy and another one for low support down here right around the 120 area. And I think that could be possible. It will be possible once it starts to sell off a little bit. Let's go back to that yearly chart and see what else we could find in here. There's another one right here, a little channel support from that 130 area and right here at the 129.02 area and we've got another channel of support right here at 140 141.91 with a resistance at close right now at 159.45 then we're going to go ahead and bring this down to a 20 day and look at the 20 day see if I see anything different on the 20 day I see a line of support right in here, right in this area right here of consolidation of the candles on the base tops. I'm trying to look for an, uh, pullback ideas. This is on a 20 day, one hour chart. And then we've got one right here. And then another one right around in here on the 157. I'm going just a little bit farther. Then we have a resistance high to break at 164.53. I've been doing this for a long time, so my eyes have kind of got adjusted to what I'm looking at. When I'm looking for places to draw trend lines, I'm looking at the bases of the candlestick 
as we see right here where they match that's a solid support so let's go ahead and draw this in a red line this is going to be like our little pivot point or going to maybe be our little support we go to edit properties we're going to turn this into a red line and I'm going to make this in a little bit bigger number three okay and then we got another support right here so let's go ahead and pull this up to the daily three minute see if I missed anything in here pretty accurate pretty accurate we have an ascending triangle right here with a head and shoulders that came down you had that higher lows and she still respects that so we're gonna probably I want to try to run these two together so I'm gonna go from right about here oh let me change this to a trend line from right about here where that bottom consolidated area is and run it right up to about there and that's going to be our solid support you see it landed right on that 159.45 so that's going to be your first support your second one's going to be right down in here right around the 153.60 and if we can get down here maybe to the 147.31 I like to see that stay that's going to be your third and final support now it can dip on down a little lower too so you just got to watch the momentum you got to watch the time and tape you know that little thing here that shows the time of sales if they're buying and selling and keep an eye on that level two and that news but we did have a lower high and it's kind of like a pennant flag almost we'll take this drawing right here and just kind of run it run it right about there so you got you a little pennant flag right now we had the breakout right up in here and she pulled back didn't go all the way down to the bottom line support, but held pretty strong at that 153.36, and that's where we're going to kind of kind of call that third support with a strong buy here at 147.31. But that is a pennant flag. We do have the higher lows, and we have the lower high into close after hours. But now we also you could almost say it was a uh, an ascending triangle if you wanted to go ahead and draw that line from right here all the way across. And have that little breakout and that might have been a good exit spot for you but this is how we're going to call it we're going to say that low supports right here right around the 147.31 could be a little bit higher up here right around the 148.22 i'm going to go ahead and draw that in here just have it i mean it's going to be right right about there 148.96 we'll just go ahead and change this here leave it white and just turn this off here and she'll stop right there so this little channel is going to be your low support level and I'm going to put a little force beam right there force beam so you can know that that's going to be the strong buy entry now I always play on the daily one minute I want to change this up a little bit and bring it down here you see where the 200 is right now it's run right up into this arrow so there's three confirmations and that's a pretty solid support at 159.26 that's going to be your first one your second one is going to be right here at 157.70 now if that doesn't hold you'll take your third support at 153.60 and probably have a retracement bounce up from it like we did right in here and if not it fails that you get down in this little channel here that's going to be a strong buy and the resistance to break is going to be 164.94. I'd like to see it break above that. I don't think we're going to have the run that we had today from the 124 area on Friday all the way to 164. That's a $40 bounce. So it does have to retrace back. And this is almost a 50% retracement right here. So that makes it pretty, pretty logical that it can pull back to this bottom line at 148, 149 area the 147.31 to 149 so low support your third one's 153.60 seconds 157.70 159.45 with a resistance to break of 164.53 and that's it for zoom keep a good eye on her she's going to be a cocooning stock and remember to follow apple l-o-g-m i want to take a look at that here after hours Domino's Pizza, Papa John's, people are going to be eating pizza at home if they can get it delivered. You got Netflix, they got to watch a little bit of TV. 
and you, everybody's got to have a little bit of food in their stomach. So there's another one here, a carry out. So there's three of them that delivers pizza to you. We got Domino's, Papa John's, and Apron. And that's it for I Love Stocks. Zoom!